light spectrum. I know a lot of people put a lot of focus on light spectrum, and then you've got the people on the opposing side saying that spectrum isn't as important. It's more about the photon density coming down onto the canopy. What's your thoughts on light spectrum? How important really is light spectrum? We talked about the evolution of going from blurple to more white light. Does that really matter? Can people still grow with purple these days? What are your thoughts? Um, well, my opinion is that light spectrum does matter a lot. And people can grow with blurple, but they shouldn't. I do believe that light spectrum makes an enormous difference. Um, you cannot simply, you know, get your light intensity up to 50,000 uh, lux or whatever with the wrong spectrum and expect to get great results. However, there are certain parts of the spectrum that you absolutely have to hit, and if you hit them, you get most of the way there. And so uh, that's how we arrived at these white, yellow, red type of light combinations. And I, I do think that those are mandatory. You've got to hit those type of light spectrums in order to get uh, plants growing the way you really want them to grow and in a way that honestly competes with your high quality HIDs like Gavita. So th that's my two cents on it. I'm certainly not in the camp of uh, spectrum doesn't matter and it's all about light intensity. In fact, if anything, I'm in the camp that says that light intensity has been overdone um, with too much sales going on of manufacturers going, oh, I can get it this high and I can get it that high. And they're not bothering to keep in mind, well, the plant can't absorb anything beyond a certain amount. So uh, yeah, that, that's my two cents on that. I agree with you on that last point where you say it's like these lights are getting stronger and stronger, but the plants aren't able to take it, right? And uh, there are some people out there that are going to say, well, that just means you need to increase your nutrients and dial in your environment a little bit more. Then your plant will be able to take it. But really, I mean, some of these grow lights are going 2,000 up to 3,000 PPFD. Yeah. And uh, these medicinal plants, they just get fried off of it. You know, yeah. you see it in the top part of the plant and it works its way down and it's just, it gets completely fried and you see a stunt growth and a lot of folks think that they just need to increase the feeding and it doesn't work for them. And then all of a sudden they have a, you know, a lack of a harvest because yeah. of they've so much damage to their plants yeah it's it's there's sort of that kind of over maximizing mentality and it, it exists not just in the lighting but it exists in in the nutrients as well and it exists with co2 as well like people think oh i'm gonna i'm gonna get my co2 parts per million in the room up to like 1800 2000 and that's gonna do something no it won't <laughs> uh but but you will spend a ton of money on your co2 gas this clip is brought to you by ac infinity use discount code mr grow at 15 to save on any of their products Thank you.